guys, it's Talisha and today I have another show vlog for you. So this one is not a dress hours show vlog, it's actually hacking or showing, whatever you want to call it. These are not normally my go-tos, but after the last show I decided that Bambi just needs to get out to as many competitions as she can for the experience and a hack show is a really, really good experience for her and it's a really nice local one. So, um, yes, we will be doing the open hack classes and my rider class. It's a little after 5am. I am ready. Um, that's the one thing that's so hard about hack shows is that they are always such early starts, which dressage normally isn't, even though my last dressage show I did was an early start. But not this early. So then after this we have one more competition for the year. So which will be a dressage one. I'm just trying to do all the comps I can before the year ends. So Bambi can have as much experience in the show. In the competition environment as possible. Now my shirt that I'm wearing. I currently don't have it buttoned up. So this shirt is a stunning little show shirt from my sponsors LP Designs. It is so pretty. And I just love this lace, which you'll be able to see perfectly under my jacket. And now the jacket I'm wearing, I will also show you. Because it's also from LP Designs and it's a custom jacket. So, I'm not going to put it on yet because it's very warm already. And I'm hoping it doesn't get too hot so jackets are cooled off because um, it's supposed to be pretty warm today. But I really want to wear my jacket that I have not worn before. It is beautiful. So it's a hack jacket, which is why I didn't wear it at the dressage comp. Now let's see how warm it is outside. It's just after 5 a.m. It's barely even light. The sun's only just starting to come up and I am very comfortable in my t-shirt, like my show shirt. Without my jacket, I am very comfortable. So I don't know how this day is going to go because, to be honest, I think it's going to be a scorcher. Yesterday it was pretty hot in Sydney. We're not in Sydney, but in but we're like two hours from Sydney. In Sydney yesterday it broke records <laughs> for the hottest day that they've ever had in December or something like that. It's not going to be as hot here today, but it didn't cool down overnight, which is the problem. Yeah, I'm probably going to float Bambi without a rug on because it's just too hot. She's got a very, very thin show sheet on just to keep her cool. But I think I'll float her without one on. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to go put some stuff to cover up, cover up my show clothes. That won't overheat me. I don't know what that'll be. Morning girls, Jep and Izzy are having a morning grooming session while Bambi supervises. <laughs> um, I left Jep and Izzy nude last night um, because of how warm it was. <laughs> so they've just been obviously having a field day. These three girls groom each other all the time, I swear. Hi! <laughs> Look how dark. Jeppy is looking. <laughs> Jep's gone full liver chestnut. <laughs> Look at that belly. Retired pony things. Nearly 26, Jeppy. Look how good she's looking. Hi. <laughs> how are you? You ready for a show? Yeah, to me. Sorry, I was just filming. I'm doing it, I'm like, it's not working for me. <laughs> Newer though, and just more powerful, I guess. Maybe they're V6s. Just be quiet, float around all these horses. They're gonna shit. Oh, look at the pink horse. <gasps> Haven't you? Yeah, it's beautiful. Already. Okay, voiceover to Leisha. Back at it again. So, first class of the day was lead mare. Now, we've only done one lead class before and she broke into Canna, so I was 
trying to play it really, really careful. Um, <laughs> so the walk is really nice. She's got a naturally really beautiful standout overreaching walk. She just nails her walk. Um, and then we had to trot along the back and I, and she just wanted to power and she may not have broken out into canna, but I was so paranoid that if she got too forward that she'd break into canna. So I tried to keep her nice and steady, um, which you can probably tell. I'm like, yeah, let's not do too much of a trot. Um, but I probably could have let her out more. We got second in that class, by the way. Now, first ridden class was novice hack. Throughout this whole day, she was just dead quiet. Uh, it got windier and windier, but nothing phased her. There were tarps and tents flying around and she was just an angel. Such an improvement from Camden, like such a massive improvement. I put quite a few clips of this class because it is our first class and she just went around so nicely. She just got better and better throughout each class. Funny fact, actually, I fell off her in the warm up. <laughs> Dad made the joke because she was so good and everything just went so smoothly that I need to fall off her every competition in the warm-up because that just must be the key. <laughs> uh, it was quite funny. I've never actually fallen off Bambi before and what happened is I did a walk to Canna and she actually disunited, which is very rare for her nowadays. It used to be something that she'd do when I first got her because she just couldn't quite Canna properly, even in normal truck to Canna transitions. But anyway, and then she tried to fix her back leg and as she did it, she pig rooted and she just kept pig rooting and pig rooting and I wasn't prepared and I ended up behind the saddle and she kept pig rooting. I was expecting a magnificent buck to get me off, but no, no magnificent buck. She, so I just kind of slid off the side and I ended up just falling back on my back. Didn't get it on camera, unfortunately, but it was hilarious. And then she just stood there and watched. So this class was just based off the ring because there was only four or five people in it. Um, so yeah, it was. we didn't do a workout for it or anything. She went around so nicely. I literally could not fault her at all this whole day. I was so impressed with her. She was so well behaved. And we came second in that class, which she just pointed to us then for second place. So that was really nice, um, especially being like the youngest horse in majority of these classes, if not all the classes we were in. So now is open hack, 15 hands to 16 hands. Um, I believe this one again was judged on the ring because it was four or five people again um, Went around beautifully. I mean, there's nothing really to comment on she this is her third comp she's ever done and She's just blew me away two weeks ago We did Camden and the whole throughout each dressage test. She was tense and it was just quite difficult Oh, we did do a workout. Maybe there was more people in this class This is the end of our workout though because the first half was a bit blurry So I cut it out, but this is the end of our workout um, but yeah, such an improvement from her going around tense and yeah, just tense and not really working through her back as nicely as I would have liked at Camden to this day where she was not tense at all. And she was just trying so hard, like from the level that she's at at the moment, I just could not ask any more of her again, got second place in this class. Um, we liked our seconds these days and this is pleasure hack. Normally this class is done one handed, but, um, Due to the high winds, the judge was like, no, we'll just do it with two hands. And Bambi and I actually won this class, which I was really shocked about. Five-year-old green horse winning the pleasure class. So good. Last class of the day was our rider class. Um, and this was a very competitive class. Very, very competitive. I was just blown away with how we went in this class, actually. So she went around beautifully. As I said, every class, she just got better and better. Um, and I had to attempt to sit trot in this. <laughs> I struggle to sit trot on this horse because she's got such a beautiful big trot that I'm just not used to. So I try to steady her trot a bit, as you can see, just so I can kind of sit to it a bit more because when she gets too big and flowy, I just can't, can't sit to it. I don't have the strength yet. Um, and then we did do a workout for this class, which you'll see here. Um, it was really windy, so don't mind the camera. Mum was literally getting blown over. As you can see, the trees, the wind is crazy. The show actually got cancelled um, not long after we left. But we got third in this class, and I was so happy because first place was a five-time Grand National champion winning rider who is just, well, I mean, she's won her rider class at Grand Nationals five times. And the second place was a um, pre-St. George horse and rider combination, so competing FEI dressage. 
and I'm a my little five-year-old and we took home third place. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't film too much after we finished. It was just so, so windy and horrible and warm so I hosed her off and we virtually left straight after. The wind is still really bad. I am home now. Oh, it's so bright out here. Oh no, our windmill blew over. So this is interesting, right? Our windmill blew over. The windmill, it's like not a massive one. Um, you can see it there and the windmill's fallen off it. But it has a massive rock. I'll zoom in. Oh my god, look at the wind. As you can see, that massive rock right there, that was holding it up, like on metal struts to hold it up. So that's fun. Um, yeah. So it's really windy here. Oh, and also another update. Our grass here is ridiculously long now in the paddock. So we're actually going to bring two horses home. Um, a week after my birthday. So my birthday is on the 6th of December because I'm going to be away for that weekend. So I figured I'd leave them where they are for that weekend as the lady who owns the property feeds them for me. So then I will bring two of them back home the Monday that I get back probably or the Tuesday. I'll see. And I know you guys will probably be curious as to which two I'm bringing home. It'll definitely be Bambi and I'd say Izzy just because I want to start bringing Izzy back into work and it'd be easier to have her here and um, because Jep's virtually retired. She can just stay at the property and probably go in and be a nanny for some weanlings. <laughs> so yeah. Um, and because Jeppy gets stressed when she's left alone and I don't want her running around and getting really sweaty in the middle of summer because she is 25. It just would not be good for her. So yeah, that's probably going to be what happens. I'll have Bambi and Izzy here. But yeah, I am so, so happy with how well behaved Bambi was today. Such a big difference from Camden. If you guys haven't seen my Camden vlog, I suggest watching that. It's dressage, which is a bit different. But she was just a different horse. Like, she was so much softer and just... She was not tense at all or anything. Her frame was a bit lower, which was what I wanted. And it probably could have been even lower at times, but it's something we're working on to naturally hold her head quite high. Um, so bringing that frame down is still a work in progress, but majority of it was perfect, just sometimes. But every transition, like I seriously couldn't fault her. Um, I just was absolutely blown away with how well she behaved she was and like I was in the second ridden class or something and I was thinking to myself I've already won like this to me this is a win not talking about any of the ribbons or the placings but with how well she went how well behaved she was just how she worked everything about it I had won like I could not have asked anything more of her at this stage she gave me everything she possibly could and was just an absolute saint and I came out of every class saying to my parents she's just perfect like she is literally being perfect I could not have asked more of her I'm just so impressed so we have one more competition for the year which is a barrel dressage members day it's a unofficial comp which will be nice and we'll just do out and we'll go out and do a couple dressage tests and then a day after that, I am super excited. I don't think I've ever been so excited for a clinic or a lesson in my life. I'm doing a rider biomechanics and alignment clinic um, with a really good lady. And I have never done one of these before, but it's something I really need to do. Because for those of you who don't know, I struggle a lot with my position. And I'm not talking about just like sitting up straight. Like, yeah, I need to keep my shoulders back and look up more. That's not to do with that. I have issues with my hips from dance, um, which actually, if you look at me when I'm riding, like if you look directly behind or in front of me, sometimes you will sl you will notice that I'm slightly, like I pop, how do I explain it? So I'm in shorts now. So if I'm riding, because I have a dodgy left hip, what I tend to do, and I don't notice I'm doing this, but I do it to compensate. I used to always get a pain right here in my hip, that was from overusing um, the muscle there from when I used to dance and which is 
the main reason I actually stopped dancing because I was having issues with my hips and it's something that I started doing because I was riding when I was dancing and because I had pain in my hip I started compensating like horses do if they're hurting somewhere some horses will try and use different muscles that they're not supposed to use so that's what I kind of did so you know obviously you should be straight and what I tend to do is I pop I sit more in my left seat bone this is me straight but then sometimes I'll lean on my left seat bone it's kind of like popping the hip out so straight and then I kind of do that so you'll sometimes you'll see me slouching and um, collapsing to this left side which is not always very obvious and it is particularly hard to see if you're looking at me side on you can't quite tell as much but if you look at me front on you can kind of see when I collapse my hip and it's something I've gotten a lot better at just through lessons and having my coach constantly remind me because I don't notice I'm doing it I never notice it's like the habit I have when I look down again a habit I never notice that I do um, so it's really hard to correct things when you don't act, when it's such a bad habit that you can't correct especially the one with my hip and collapsing my body to the left side because that was created because of pain so to escape the pain that's how it worked it's weird so when I sat up straight it would hurt my hip so I'd kind of like put my weight onto that seat bone it was a bit strange um, and it's funny because I never noticed I did it even when I was doing it to start with because I wasn't getting lessons at that stage so I had no one to tell me and then later on when we figured out I was doing it which was when I started getting lessons with Les is when I noticed it and I was talking to mum and dad and trying to figure out like why it's something I do and talking to him and that's when we realized that it would have been created from the pain in my hip so yeah that was a long spiel about my alignment but yeah so she uses like body bands and bits and pieces and talks about rider alignment and rider position and everything like that it's a it's a lesson i really really need and i think i will really benefit from and a big reason as well why i'm wanting to change and fix and like find ways to strengthen that part like my hip and things so that's it i will take you along for barrel dressage competition and I will also probably take you guys along for the Rider Biomechanics Clinic because I think that'll be so fascinating to watch. I'm so excited. I wish I could do both days, but because I'm competing on the Sunday, I can only do the Monday. But it'll be good. I think she'll come back because she was here like a month or two ago doing a clinic and it was so successful. That's why they decided to do it again. So I'm sure she'll be back. And I'll probably go to her all the time because I need all the help I can get for my position and alignment. All the help I can get. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I am so happy with Bambi. I'm just so happy. Ah! And I will see you guys when I see you. Okay, bye.